Do you speak English? I'm Jenny. Meet my sister Jane. She is a couch potato. She faces unpredictable troubles being lazy. Let's watch this video and learn about one of these problems. Excuse me. Yes, how may I help you? Last night, my friend has been admitted. His name, please? Jack Williams. Let me look at the admission checklist. Ah, uh, I see two patients admitted in the same name. What is his date of birth? I think he was born on the 15th of March, 1999. Yeah, got it. He's admitted in ICU. How to go to the ICU ward? Take right and go straight. Only one visitor is allowed at a time. Please follow me. What happened to your friend? My friend met with a terrible accident. Yesterday when he returns home. Abruptly, a dog darts out in front of the car. He brakes suddenly while trying to avoid hitting it. To save the dog, he drives onto the wrong side of the road. He had hit a tree. His leg was injured. Oh, my goodness. You should go this way. How are you, Jack? I'm good, just have a leg pain. It's not that bad. Just a sprain. At least you might get some rest now. Be bored of being in bed all day. Excuse me. Could you please wait outside? We shift the patient in another ward. Yeah, sure. Happy morning, Jack. How are you feeling now? I am feeling better than before. That's really great. i glad to see you hale and hearty. I have a question to you, doctor. I just want to know. Yeah, go ahead. Nurse gave me only two medicines in the night. Have you changed my medicine? Yes, seeing the steady improvement in your health. We have reduced your dosage. Uh, I am on cloud nine after hearing this. You have a blood test right now. Blood test for what? To check the level of your blood sugar. Okay, will that be done empty stomach? Yes. What will I get in breakfast after the test? Today you will get brown oats along with a cup of milk. That's so bland diet and boring. Can't you jazz it up a little? Hilarious. Don't worry, you will get a healthy and sumptuous lunch. That's perfect. I'm weary from the journey. I can't lift it anymore. Ah, my back. Did you slip and fall? Yeah. Let me give you a hand. Thank you, Jack. But I don't recognize you. My name is Jane. Oh, Jane, Jenny's sister. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let me help you carry your luggage up. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Jane. Welcome to our home. Looks like we're going to be roommates. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm a foreign exchange student. You look a little bit exhausted. Let me bring you a hot drink. Thank you, Jack. You're so kind. This feels like a proper home. It's freezing. I'll turn the heater on. Oh, it's my nose. What's wrong with it? It's running. It's gone red. 
Yeah, I've blown my nose too much today. I think that I am just going to rest and drink plenty of liquids for a while. Yes, staying rested and hydrated is really important. You might refresh yourself by taking a shower or take a nap. Where's my room? Your room is on the right side next to the kitchen. Uh, okay. Yes, come in. Jenny, you back home from work. Sorry, Jane. I couldn't be home this morning to welcome you home. No problem, Jenny. Jack helped me a lot. I've been working like a beaver these days. Good, I'm so scared of finding a job. Why so? Because I think I'm still lacking somewhere. Don't worry. Push yourself a bit more. You will do a better. Thank you, sis, for your support. You can take coaching from the job interview coaching services. Yeah, this seems a perfect idea. By the way, how do you feel about this house? I love this house, it's so big. My room is awesome too. I'm so glad to hear that. Now take a rest, Jane. You must be tired from this morning. I am dog tired after the long travel. Good night, sweet dreams. Bye bye. Wow. What a hearty meal. Who made it? It's me. Dishes are the best that I've never eaten. Do you often make a lot of dishes? Jane, he has made these dishes specially for you. By the way, my name is Eliza. Nice to see you here. Can you tell me about yourself? Well, I'm 22 years old and graduated from Cambridge. I've been out of work since December. Hope I find a new job soon. I know a shop hiring for an assistant job. It's not a hard job too. Would you be interested? The ball is in your court, Jane. I'm really on the horns of a dilemma here. Why don't you give it a go and see if you like it? I've never tried this role before, but I'll give it a whirl. I found out the location. See you at night. Excuse me. Is your store hiring? Yes, there is an open position. Would you like to apply? Yes, I'm interested. First of all, let me properly introduce myself. My name is Clara. I am working as a billing clerk. I'm Jane. I'm a graduate in business administration. We're doing business in online as well retail. By the way, he's James hiring manager in this store. Nice to meet you. He will explain it to you more in detail. Hello Jane, are you a student? No, I'm graduated and I fairly need a job. Please, tell me a little bit about the position. It is an entry level position. What type of qualifications do you require? I require a college degree. Some working experience would be helpful. Anything else? I am very eager to learn, and I get along fine with people. Do you still have any questions for me? I think I have a pretty good understanding of the job. Bye, have a nice day. Ma'am. Tina, meet our new employee. Her name is Jane. She will be joining the office from tomorrow. I want you to finish your paperwork today. Jane, meet your reporting manager, Tina. I'm very pleased to meet you. I'm happy to help you. Is this your first job? No, I had worked in a private company.
So, your working hours is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You've to work closely with me because I'm the purchase manager. It can be quite stressful at times. Yeah, trying to balance inventory levels and dealing with the staff. You will also have to deal with the bank on a daily basis. Do I have any days off in the week? Yes, one day per week. You'll receive a free meal. I am really grateful for this opportunity. Enjoy your day. Hey, Jane. You back so soon? I got there early because my bus arrived so soon. So, how was the job interview? It went really well. You look tired. Can I get you something to drink? Yes, that would be nice. Thank you. Are you going to take the job if you get it? They seemed very interested. But I'm not sure. It depends on a few things. Like what? It depends on the salary. What is your role in the workplace? It's an assistant role in a popular bakery shop. Oh, that's great, Jane. Congratulations. Well done for landing your amazing new role. I had nearly given up hope when out of the blue I was offered a job. Time to enter the world of work, Jane. Congrats on this exciting new beginning. Hope your new work will make you happy. I know you will rock it. Break a leg. Hope you enjoy it. I am excited to showcase my skills. Shall we go out? Of course. I have been walking on air after my sister tells me this. Cheers. Come in, please. Sister. Calm down, Jane. I'm here with you. What happened? I got fired from the job. I'm so sad and disappointed now. What awful news. I really don't know what to say. Everything was going well, right? All of a sudden why they laid off. It really knocked me down with a feather to hear that. Could you tell me the reason? I and my manager made a short conversation. When you've finished the stock list, I need you to go to the bank. Hang on, Tina. I'm not a machine. Jane, may I have a few words with you? Sure, go ahead. This conversation is going to be a bit harsh on you. I don't understand what you're saying. Let me not beat around the bush. To be honest, we are going to fire you. Huh? What? How can you do that? You've been a terrible employee. You have called in sick four times this month. Also, and you informed us so late, being lazy at work time. We might even offer you a severance package. Your services are no longer needed here. This is really hard for me, thank you. Oh no, Jane. It was an unacceptable reason. You're so reckless. It is not good that you are being a couch potato at workplace. Jane, you should not be sad anymore. I believe that you'll find another suitable job soon. Stop being lazy as a bear. I think you should change your habit. It's also the main reason that makes you lose your job. You're absolutely right. Yes, I should be more energetic. I promise that I will change my habit. Thank you for your advice. That's a good start. I'm so hungry, I could eat like a horse. I'm feeling on top of the world. Losing that job was a blessing in disguise, really. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like.
share comment on my video. Please subscribe to 2 Minute English channel to watch more videos. Goodbye.